All right, gang. Welcome, welcome back. I uh, hope you took the time there to write down your goals, your gratitudes, and your intentions. Um, it is always a good exercise to go through and really set uh, your, your intentions and your focus. Uh, and that's what we're going to talk about today. But before we get into that, just very quickly, let me mention we've got uh, a group of 12 agents who are absolutely committed to their success in uh, business and real estate. They are attending the uh, ESS Prospecting School today and tomorrow. Their goal, get this, their goal is to set amongst the 12 of them 60 appointments with uh, buyers or sellers, but specifically sellers over the next couple of days. Gang, if you have never attended uh, that event, I would strongly encourage you to do that because what will happen for you is not only are you going to learn a ton, but what you're going to realize is this, that you can set more appointments than you can possibly imagine in just one to two days. Uh, I, my, my, my own experience with those sorts of events is that you can literally set more appointments in one to two days than you've set in a week's because simply of the focus and the fact that you're there with people who are focused on their success improving and you have others around you who are encouraging you as well as coaches who help you through those calls. So if you've not been uh, to one of those events, man, attend that. And if you want more information on that, get a hold of Judy uh, uh, Forden and uh, she'll provide her information in the chat box here on this Zoom cast. So having said that, let's talk about uh, what's, uh, what's on uh, hand today, what we're going to talk about. I, one of my favorite quotes of Jim Rohn is this, that life does not get better by chance, it gets better by change. Let me say that again. Life does not get better by chance, it gets better by change. So I want you to write this down. Write down this simple statement. I get what I focus on. Write that down. I get what I focus on. Now, let me, let me share with you a, a fun story about when I was a kid. I grew up in a very small town, Orangeville, Utah. There were more cows than people. In fact, there were about a thousand people and there were thousands of cows. And one of the great things about growing up in a small town like that is that uh, recreation was a big deal. I mean, that was the thing to do. And I am assuming that I did. I am assuming that I over and over again harassed my parents to get me a motorcycle because when I turned, it was seven or eight years old, probably seven, I got a, uh, an 80 Yamaha motorcycle. And I was so excited. I didn't know how to ride it, but uh, my dad and, uh, and uh, the rest of the family went out to the desert uh, west of Orangeville uh, in an area called the Wedge. And some of you might be aware of that, but it's in the middle of nowhere. Uh, it's just simply wide open spaces and it's gorgeous. But I remember that first day that uh, I got my motorcycle, we were at camp. And by the time we got set up, uh, it, was, uh, it was close to dark. And my dad uh, had built a fire. And I remember being on the motorcycle and he had shown me how to get on it and, uh, and that it was pretty much like a bicycle, except that I didn't need a pedal, I just throttled. And so I was riding around camp and the thing that I had learned to do was to basically just go around in circles. He made this little track for me and I was going around in circles. Well, as it got darker, the fire that he had made became more prominent, it was more visible. And what I found is that as it got darker and the fire became more visible, more prominent, I started to focus on the fire until I got to a point that my circles around the track became tighter and tighter. And I got to a point where it was such a tight circle, my dad started to pay attention. I'd kind of gotten off the track. And for whatever reason, that fire just, it was so interesting to me while I was on that motorcycle that at one point, instead of staying in a loop around the fire, I started to head directly towards the fire. And my dad, of course, noticed this and saw me, I was probably going about 25 miles an hour, 20, 25 miles an hour, pretty fast. And I'm headed straight towards this fire, this big fire that he made, this big campfire. And he and a, and, a, and a friend of his and maybe somebody else was gathered around the fire at this point. And my dad could see that I was headed straight to the fire. He jumps up out of his lawn chair and uh, is waving his hands and yelling. And I don't remember what he was yelling, but knowing my dad, there were probably some expletives that were included in whatever it was he was saying. And it had to be something like stop or turn or do something, but do not go into the fire. 
Well, unfortunately, despite his protestations, despite his hands waving, and I remember all of that, I was simply focused on that fire and I froze and I went literally getting right through the middle of that fire on that motorcycle, like 20, 25 miles an hour. And as I was doing that, my dad stood there, was kind of running towards me. He grabbed a hold of me, pulled me off of the motorcycle. And of course, then the motorcycle just continued to go until it didn't have enough momentum and it fell over. No, the, the, the question is, why do I share that story with you? Well, I share that story with you because of the statement that I made before I told you the story. We get what we focus on. You get, gang, what you focus on. So I want you to think about your reality. I want you to think about life as it exists for you today. I want you to think about your relationships. I want you to think about your health. I want you to think about your business. I want you to think about those things and take an assessment. Okay, where am I? What do those things look like now? And what I know about each and every one of you, because it's true for myself as well, there's always room for improvement. So the thing that I would ask you is this, what needs to change in any of those specific areas? What is it in your relationships that need to change or needs to change? What is it in your health that needs to change? What is it in your business that needs to change. And when I say what needs to change, in other words, what you're focused on. See, like me at eight, seven, eight years old on that motorcycle, obviously I needed to change my focus from the fire to the track and just simply paying attention to the track, to the turns. And yet I got distracted and focused, focused on the very thing that I shouldn't have been focused on. And because I was focused on it, that's where I ended up, right in the middle of that campfire. So my question for you is, what needs to change or what needs to improve? What in terms of your focus needs to change or improve? Because look, gang, in order to change the destination, we need to change the direction that we're going. Let me say that again. In order to change the destination, you need to change the direction. So my question for you is, what is it about your direction that needs to change? What it is about the, your focus, the things that you're thinking about that needs to change? So here's, here's the, the question I have for you. What's that one simple thing that today, that one simple thing today that you could change, that if you change that one simple thing today, that it would make a difference? So I want you to think, first of all, I want you to start thinking about this. This relates, for example, to your relationships. Maybe your most important relationship. What needs to change? Is it your attitude about the relationship? Maybe you're holding a grudge about something in that relationship against that person. Maybe it's time for you to forgive. Maybe you need to be kinder in that relationship. Maybe today is a day where you need to be kinder. Maybe you need to be more patient. Maybe it's just simply making a phone call to that person or writing them a note and saying, I love you, or I forgive you, or I'm thinking about you. What is that one thing that you could focus on, that you could do that would have an impact on that reality on that relationship. Just think about that. What about your health? What is that one thing that you could change, that you could focus on? Maybe it's focus on drinking the right things. For example, how many of you, when you first get up in the morning and you're on the way to the office, you stop by and pick up a 32 ounce soda, of your, your favorite soda drink, whether it's diet or not? Or how about exercise, going for a walk, or maybe how about focusing on getting to bed earlier, getting a little bit more sleep, or how about this? How about focusing on eating three good meals today? Or how about maybe sitting down for 15, 20 minutes and actually writing in your journal, focused on acknowledging what you're thinking, what needs to improve in the way that you're thinking, and writing down some more positive thoughts. Or how about this? How about identifying a bad habit that you have? Maybe you smoke, maybe you drink. What is it that you have in terms of a habit that you could change? That you could focus on today and say, just for today, I'm going to change that thing. I'm going to change my focus. What is it? 
What is that one simple thing that you could shift your focus from to a new activity? Something that's going to improve your reality in that particular category of your life. And then how about this one? Your business. What could you change today? What's the one thing that you could focus on today that's different than you focused on yesterday or Friday or Thursday or Wednesday or Tuesday or Monday of last week? What is that one thing? Maybe it's talking to people. Maybe it's just simply making the commitment, <clears throat> if you haven't been prospecting, that today I'm going to prospect. I'm going to call 10 people. I'm going to prospect for an hour and build from there. How about practice? How about maybe today I'm going to practice my listing presentation. Today I'm going to focus on practicing my listing presentation and get, getting better at communicating with people. Or maybe it's just simply following a written schedule today. Today I'm going to focus on following a specific schedule that I'm going to prospect. I'm going to follow up. I'm going to practice today identifying when you're going to do that and for how long you're going to do it. In other words, creating a life by design, intentionally, prioritizing, saying these are the things that are important to me, that if I focus on these things, I can get better outcomes. See, gang, again, I'm going to say it. Nothing is going to change in your life unless you change. If you want to change your destination, the only way to do that is to change your direction. And it doesn't have to be a significant change in direction. Just one simple thing leads to a significant or significantly different destination over time. Just think about that. You think about how many calories, for example, are in a 32-ounce drink. You think about all the sugar that's in a 32-ounce Coke, for example. That if you eliminated that every single day for 30 days, the impact that that would have. You would literally lose, if you eliminated that amount of sugar on a daily basis, somewhere around 5 to 10 pounds over the course of a month. Literally, you would. It's called the compound effect. It is amazing what will happen if we will change one simple thing and over time how that compounds and leads to a dramatically different outcome. So here's what I would challenge you to do. Identify in your, in your life, in one of those three areas, or if not in all three areas, in your relationship, with your health, or with your business, identify the one thing that you could focus on, that you could improve upon. See, gang, we can focus on the fire all day long. And if we expect to get a great outcome, a good outcome, or a different outcome, we are deluding ourselves. The only way to get a better outcome than we got yesterday is to change our focus, to improve the process. You will never end up in a better destination or a different destination if you do not change what you focus on. And we get what we focus on. I'm going to go back to the original quote that we started with with Jim Rohn. Life does not get better by chance. It gets better by change. What is it that you are focused on on a daily basis that's negative, that's counterproductive, that is not inspiring, that in fact is the opposite of inspiration, but creates desperation, that creates anger, frustration, hatred, envy, jealousy, whatever it is, what needs to change? How do you need to change your focus so that Today, you can get a different outcome. Okay, anything can change just like that. It is simply a decision. Whatever it is that you are focusing on is just simply a decision. And in order to change that, all you have to do is acknowledge it. Acknowledge the behavior. Acknowledge the thought pattern. Acknowledge what it is that you're doing and where you are and say, no, I'm going to change that. Have that conversation with yourself. Because here's the thing. Average people avoid confronting themselves and admitting that they are 100% responsible for their circumstances. Because that is the truth. You are 100% responsible for your circumstances. And if you don't believe that, the problem with that is that you will adopt the attitude of a victim 
and you will no longer be in control. You will be out of control. And when you're out of control, right, you are the victim. And victims have things that happen to them rather than for them. Whereas victors recognize that they are 100% in control, their circumstances are their responsibility. And because of that, they direct on a daily basis their actions on a conscious level and therefore get much better outcomes. So my question for you is today, are you going to be the victim who focuses on all the challenges, all the problems? Are you gonna be the victor who simply focuses on all the solutions and the outcomes that you want for your day, for your week, for your year, and for your life. Because gang, it is simply a choice. What you focus on on a daily basis, moment to moment, is simply a choice. If you want things to improve, the only way that they will is to improve the things that you focus on. All right, gang, have a great day. Remember, Get clear about what you want today to be about and the things you want to accomplish and identify that one thing, just that one thing that you can change your focus on today. Improve the focus on that one thing and get a dramatically different outcome. Let's do our closing affirmations.